a pretty good mix of favorites for April, something from almost every category. And at the end, I have a couple stationery and non-beauty items, but I thought we would go ahead and start out with hair products. And if you've ever seen one of my hair videos, you know that my hair is pin straight and has no volume. So even if I can get the tiniest bit of volume, that to me is considered a good hair day. And I've been using two new things that I really like. The first is from Alterna. It's called the Caviar Miracle Multiplying Volume Mist. And in the bottle, it looks like water. Even when you spray it on, you're supposed to spray it on damp hair. It looks and feels like water. And you're wondering to yourself, could this be doing anything? But once I get done blow drying, it adds a lot of volume but it doesn't feel like there's anything in my hair at all, which is my favorite thing about this. Sometimes when I use mousse, it makes my hair feel tacky, which I don't like. So I think this is a great everyday volumist. And then one of my most repurchased products of life is the Kendra 25 hairspray. I love that so much. And every time that Ulta sends out a coupon, I usually go in and stock up on it. So I went into the store a couple weeks ago, planning to buy the 25, and I saw that they had something new called 30. This is the ultimate hold hairspray. If you are somebody who loves touchable hold, brushable styles, this is not the recommendation for you. This is a hairspray for people who love serious hairspray, but as it gets warmer out, it gets so humid here and my bangs just kind of flop into my face and really annoy me. So I think this is gonna be amazing to keep everything kind of off my forehead in the warmer months. I'm about two thirds done with this and I think once I'm finished, I'm gonna end up repurchasing 30 over the 25. My last Sephora haul was so successful. I loved absolutely everything I bought, which does not always happen. And I didn't want this video just to be a recap of that. So I'm gonna hold off. I need to use the eye products for a little bit longer, but first impressions are very good. But my absolute favorite thing that I got in the last Sephora sale is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. I love this. I wasn't expecting to see a huge difference because I was already using really nice vitamin C serums. But one of you all commented on that video and you said this product is transformative. I 100% agree. Even the first day I used it, I thought this is incredible. And after using it for almost a month, it's very brightening, but still moisturizing. I love it. It does have the one weird claim of the 72 hour reservoir effect. And I wanted to try to get some more information because some of you guys had questions about that. It says that it once it seeps into your skin and absorbs, the active ingredients stay active for 72 hours, no matter if you're showering or washing your face. And that's really all it says. And there's not much added information on Sephora or the Drunk Elephant website. So I'm gonna try to reach out to them and if I can find out more, I'll definitely let you know. But this was a major favorite and it's making me wanna try a lot more from the brand. Let's do lipsticks really quick. I have fallen hard for the Jouer Matte Liquid Lipsticks and actually the color I was most unsure of has turned out to be my favorite and that is Noisette. I thought it was gonna to be too brown, but I've learned on my skin, if I apply it lightly, it's really beautiful and it also mixes really well. I like to mix Noisette with Melon from the same line, that's gorgeous. And I was wearing, if my last video is my beauty organization video, that is the combination that I had on. These last forever, they're not overly drying. So if you're into matte liquid lipsticks, I would give those a try. And the other thing I wanted to talk about is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche. I love saying Amuse Bouche. I think that's gonna be like the closest I ever get to be on an episode of Top Chef wanted to talk about sweet cream really quick. I love this shade. And if you remember last summer when I went to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab up in New York City, that was such a fun experience. And the color that I made, the custom color that I made, is probably the most asked about lip color I've ever worn on my channel. Every single time I wore it last summer and last fall, everyone wanted to know about it. Let me do a quick swatch. I've already done this on Snapchat, but let me do it for everybody so you can see the difference. I really, there's not that much of a difference. I mean, slightly, but when I'm wearing them on my lips, I can't even tell which one that I put on. So if you've ever wanted to try my custom bite shade, look at Sweet Cream. And if your issue with the Luminous Cream was that they didn't last long enough, I think Bite has fixed that with the Amuse Bouche. Sweet Cream wears beautifully as does Pepper and Verbena. And I think Sweet Cream in particular is just a gorgeous spring summer shade. Of course, I am a little biased clearly because I like these shades. My biggest category of favorites are actually cheek products. And the first is something I bought during that Sephora sale, but it hadn't arrived in time when I was filming that video. This is the one thing I had to order online. It's new from Becca and it's called the Luminous Blush. And this shade is Tiger Lily. If you love oranges and tangerines, this shade is gorgeous. It doesn't have any glitter particles. This is supposed to be a combination of Becca's highlighters, which of course they're really well known for, and their blushes. I love both, but I especially love Becca blushes. This doesn't have any glitter to it, but there is some serious shimmer. But if you love a really glowy cheek, I think these are worth checking out. I'm wearing one today in, I think it's the coppery one, bronze copper, but I love these. And the other blush I really, I just wore, I wore this one so much during April is from Lorac. And this is the Buildable Matte Blush in the shade Prism. 
The texture of this is amazing. It is so incredibly smooth. This color is a gorgeous everyday shade. It's matte, so you get to add your own highlighter if you want to, or you just want to go completely matte, and it lasts for forever. So I think this is a great everyday work appropriate shade. And if I ever wanted to add some glow to this one, what I was reaching for is from RMS. This is their new master mixer. So you can use this for a lot of things. My favorite way is to use this as a highlighter. I love the luminous living luminizer and this is like a rose gold version of that. So if you wanna see both the Lorac blush and this in action I used, I think I used this combination in my last get ready with me video. So I'll put a link to that down below. For body products, I have a couple things. We had some really lovely days early in April. Today is not one of those days. It's kind of cold and rainy out, but we did have some warm weather and I started swapping out clothes and swapping out scents. And I started using again the Leilani Picake perfume oil. This is my second one of these. I love, I love this set. I've only been to Hawaii once in my life and it was a very long time ago, but this is what I remember of Hawaii and it just makes me happy every time I use it. And then for the first time I got the matching body butter this says made with shea butter and coconut oil and the texture is a little bit different i usually buy whipped body butters this i guess it's kind of similar but it's a little bit more of a pudding texture but it has the same great scent it's very moisturizing and it soaks into the skin fairly quickly so if you've ever if you're ever going to place an order with leilani and you're looking for something to buy these two are huge favorites and i know someone asked if i would do a dedicated leilani skincare video i have that on my list i think i'm going to do a top five that is all for beauty products but if you want to stick around i have a couple other things to show you this first item i saw on don't call me jesse or gem or jerica's snapchat i think she was shopping at ulta and just taking some pictures of different displays the second i saw this i knew it had to happen so i put it on my list to check out at ulta it is this quite sizable makeup bag of course, I love the floral print and they did have a matching pencil case as well. And when I got it up to the front, the girl looked at me and then looked down and I was holding my phone and my wallet and she was like, oh, are you buying this because it matches your phone? And I looked down, but I think I very much have a type. I love, I love a floral print. And this does look kind of like rifle paper-esque. I actually really like the size. It's huge. And I think it would be really good if you're traveling this summer and looking for a nice makeup bag. You're still getting a print, but it's also see-through. So you can see what you have in here. Right now I have beauty products because I'm getting ready. I'm going to spend a couple days at my grandma's house, but I also think this would be really good to take all my planning supplies, like my on the go planning supplies and keep that in my bag. Speaking of planners, I'm just going to finish up with a couple stationary items. I don't have a Mambi. I think they're called the happy planners. I don't have one of those. I think they're really cute and I especially love their accessories and my Michaels has a pretty good selection. So I like to browse. What I've been loving so much are these washi rolls. This is my second one. I bought this one because it had some purples and blues and I thought it would go really well with the May color scheme in my planner. These are awesome because they kind of match, they more coordinate, they're not super matchy matchy. And then I think Michaels always has that 40% off coupon. So if you're in need of some washi tape, I would check out Michaels. And then Rifle Paper Company's latest collection. My favorite thing to come out of it is this notepad and it says, let's do this. And I like that it's lines, you can create little to-do lists and I love the floral pattern. I love the peaches and the sky blue. And then the other thing was, where is my planner? Okay, my planner is upstairs, but what I really wanted to show you are these stickers and they're from the Luckety Etsy store, which I love. And I really like all of her kits. There was just something special about this Alexa one. I just really connected with the color scheme. I love the peaches in the pink, and I like that she added in black. I thought that was a really great combination. And when Jer's been traveling, I haven't had to worry about meal planning quite as much, so I've been covering up my boxes with these long stickers. It's just fun to kind of change things up. So if you haven't ordered from Luckety yet, I actually just got another order, so I have some new stickers for May, and I am planning on doing a May plan with me video as well. That is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing my favorites. I would love to know what your April favorites are, if there's something you'd like to see reviewed on my channel this month. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll be back with a new video very soon.